Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're in the uh, we're in the Prim Bison Hotel thingy and um, we've just taken care of all the convicts over here. So we've uh, released Deputy Beagle. Uh, we've almost leveled for which I need you know to uh, to get my science skill up so I can hack that. So I have to come back over here. Oh, it's night time. That's pretty. Oh, very pretty. Let me try my... Yeah, look at this. Oh, there's another convict here. He must be up here. Where is he? Yeah, he's definitely up here. Oh, maybe not. I want to take... I want to take him out, but... Where can I get on this thing? Oh. Oh, there he is. I'm not gonna hit him from over here. Let's uh, use the environment raffle. Let's uh, repair the 9mm. Where's the environment raffle? Ow! You bastard! Yeah, great. Wonderful. Right, now I'm... <sighs> they really cripple you easily. And that was my last doctor's bag as well. Brilliant. Where are you? I can barely see him. He went that away. Where'd he go? What? Ah. Oh. Oh, that's the music. Grr. Need to kill. Limb, it says. On the left. Limb. Limb. Which is not really a limb. It's my torso that's crippled. Ouch. And we're out of doctor's bags, so that's gonna be a problem. Oh, you bastard. Come on, you bastard. I'm gonna get ya. Where is he? Yeah, head crippled, huh? Not so funny now, is it? Not so funny now, is it? You're crippled. Uh, I'm gonna take all of that. I mean, hey, I've killed him. I'm gonna take his stuff now. Uh, nah, it's gonna be easiest if I just go down there. Wait a second, is there a door here? Yes, there is. Hmm, apparently place I haven't checked yet. Hmm, interesting. Never mind. Let's go down and uh, talk to Deputy Beagle, see what he has to say for himself. This is where we need to go. S did it say staff only? Authorized personnel only. So what, the stairs were not for customers when this hotel was still operating? That's a bit odd. You can only use the elevator. Do not use stairs, even if you have a fear of elevators or if there is a fire. You can only burn. Hmm. Bit odd, that. Right, let's... Oh, that looks kind of pretty at night. Right. Deputy Beagle better be, uh, thankful. Because we have managed to save him. Now, there is another guy. There's the Sheriff, I believe. No, wait. Sheriff was killed. Well, <clears throat> that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? You mean I Breaking did. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Shoot them? 
Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, <laughs> gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. No, oh, that was it. Hello again. <clears throat> I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff, no? What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Hmm. I'll help bring law and order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Yeah, I'd rather the, um, the place had a sheriff. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yep. How can I bring rule of law back to Prim? Your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural-born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15. And maybe that ain't the best credential, but a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town, too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Hmm. There's a question about your robot. That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? Where did it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. What is wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Uh, do you mind if I try to fix it? Are you welcome to try. It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Oh, okay. Don't go Goodbye. Getting yourself shot. Apologize about my yawning. It's been a very long day. Right. Um, bring EDE to Gibson Scrapyard in Novak. Yeah, I'll probably just uh, drop off the conductor over here because I don't want to carry that heavy thing with me. So off we go to Novak. Uh, to Novak. Off we go to this place. Uh, let me put it right here. Items. Uh, conductor. There we go. There it is, right there. What do we need? Uh, try to fix it with parts. Oh, we don't need conductors. Nah. We need three scrap uh, pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Yeah, the electronics are the worst part. Um, I do have some. Oh! I do have scrap electronics as well. I'm gonna put them here. Wait, where are the electronics? Okay, there they are. Uh, but I need two sensor modules, right? Yes, two sensor modules. So that's all I need. Just need to find two sensor modules. I need to destroy some robots. And what the hell? What the hell was that? Well, that was weird. Um, yeah, what's my XP? Oh, we did kill that guy and it didn't give us enough, enough XP, damn it. Bison Steve. Ah, it's raining. Ah, that was that sound. Okay. It was rain. That's the mod. Although, kind of weird that it's raining. Considering how, you know, desolate this area is. Oh. I pick up I picked up the missiles that I really don't need, but oh well. Alright, let's get out of here. And we have to go to Uh where? Hmm. Don't rightly know. 
Oh yeah, to the uh, correctional facility. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. He was hoping there would be more gambling. Now let's see, world map. Yep, that's where we need to go. Uh, no, just remove that. Remove it. That is the. Oh, that's Nipton. Mojave Drive in, Mojave Outpost. There's the correctional facility. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Because I'm going to do. My Con Town. Yep, there we go. Um. You know what, that's a bit annoying, this rain, to be completely honest. Uh, where is it? Ah, darn it. Where is the thingy? Is it weapons? No. Damn it. Oh, that it is. Uh, toggle effects, no. Set weather types. No. Extra features. Wait. Hmm. Well, some pleasant weather always then. There we go. Ah, much better. Also, funny thing. The uh, the rain had completely tanked the FPS. That was very weird. Oh well. So let's go talk to this guy, even though I don't want the NCR to take over Prim. I do want them to have a proper sheriff. You guys like walking over this chair in the table, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Uh, why do you need to, uh, to take over protecting the town? Oh, what do what you need? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Hmm. I'd like to talk to you about protecting have Prim. Have gotten us any additional support oh. yet? No. Not yet. Roger. Right, never mind. I mean, it's probably not too bad if you get them, um, you know, to protect Prim, but uh, I need to sleep somewhere. Hmm. Or maybe I'll just wait until the morning. Because it's only a few hours. I can't believe we've spent that long. Jeez. Right, off we go. Over to the correctional facility. That's going to be interesting. I will probably have to... Uh, shrink a sunset sarsaparilla. Let's eat something as well. Uh, some A gecko steak. Nom nom. There we go. So our health goes up a little bit as well. We do need it. Because this will be quite an interesting fight. Ooh, look at that. Where's all the clouds now? Well, they'll probably be coming. Or maybe not, we'll see. Where's the correct- Whoa! What the hell is that? Oh, I see. It probably is part of the- Wait a second. Oh no, I thought there were some- st There was some stuff hanging on this- uh, Hanging off this, uh- Hat. That's bizarre. Hmm. Probably some kind of a mob thing. Alright, well, anyway, we're off to the correctional facility. As I said a hundred times now. And I will stop saying it. And there's loads of geckos running around here. And they're... F they're... Yeah, they're... Running is so funny. <laughs> it's like, yeah! I'm hidden still. Hmm. They seem to be completely oblivious to uh, the fact that I'm here. You are crippled. Use a doctor's bag or find a doctor. So where is the correctional facility? Yeah, much nicer textures now. I'm happy. 
Not perfect, of course, but much nicer. Oh, oh. What's going on? Hello. I missed. Headshot. Yeah, take that. I think that's about it. No, 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 no. Ah, I've leveled up now. Well, I'll have to come back to Prim anyway, so... Oh, well. I think that's the correctional facility. Uh, science, 25. There we go. Lockpick is 35. Let's put more into speech. Continue. Ah. Confirm bachelor intense training, lady color attention. Da, 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 cannibal. With a cannibal perk, when you're in sneak mode, you gain the option to eat a corpse to regain health. Ugh. But every time you feed, you lose karma. And if the act is witnessed, it is considered a crime against nature. Ugh. With a comprehension perk, you gain double the bonus from reading magazines and one additional point from skill books. Educated, you gain two more skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize its effectiveness. Yeah, let's take that. Should probably do uh, intensive training as well, but oh well. That is fine. Alright, I believe this leads to the correctional facility, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me double check. Uh, no, I have to go the other way. That is the correctional facility? That round thing? Oh, that's what we're seeing, that thing. Yeah, this is the rocket thing, I think. Gibson Scrapyard, Novak. Alright, so we're going this way. I could just go over the hill, I guess. Or try to. That's the really nice thing about... Uh, Bethesda games, all this traveling. Sometimes it can get a little boring, but most of the time it's fun to explore. Walk around. Ah, Black Mountain Signal Radio Found. Well, there's the correctional facility. And they have a lot of nasty friends there. That we'll have to contend with. There's one over there on the top. <laughs> That's so funny, man. And it's not here. Okay, let's see if I can uh, maybe pick that one off. Without actually... Hmm. Probably not with my low skill. Would be nice though. Oh yeah. Sneak attack. Oh, that was nice. Come on. Oh, <laughs> sneak attack critical. No one seems to be there. There's one guy over there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost looked <laughs> for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. <sighs> Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Yeah, great. Thanks for popping in right in front of me. You scared the bloody ah, pants off me. Uh, why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Um, uh, what's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Um, so you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Like you. Uh, what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. 
Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. You mentioned someone named Festus? Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Hmm, thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Right, as far as I remember, yep, he's now red, and he wants to kill us for the caps. I don't know if this is actually a bug, or if this is a... oh. Alright, he's got lots of stars. Hello? Oh no, he's not red. Well, that's odd. Watch out! Watch out what? You've been Watch caught out. pickpocketing. Oh, I didn't really want to do that. But wait a second, I thought, um... Hmm. I thought that he just... attacked you. Whoa. Hmm. I guess not. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and we are going to continue next time, when we take out all of these uh, powder gangers over here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.